everyone, it's Chai, and this is going to be the first episode of a, hopefully a series of videos about streaming and streaming bits and streaming stuff, etc. And uh, this is a question that I've had from fellow broadcasters, and I thought that it would be way easier to just make a video about it than to try and explain it to them because it is tricky, and I can't believe I got it to work. So yeah, I'm gonna just show you guys how I got it to work. This is a video if you are using OnkBot about how to get the Google Docs sync working in order to use things like song request or cue list and that sort of thing. So you can get song list and cue list working so that way your viewers can see what the song list is, what the cue list is, and how all that works. So let's just jump right into it. Let's get this going because I want to show you guys exactly how this is done. It's a little bit strange, like I said, but not too difficult once you kind of get the feel of what you're doing. All right. So first off, this is this is my Ankhbot. This is the latest, greatest version, version 1.0.2.2. So far, they haven't really done any major changes in Ankhbot, so I suspect that this video tutorial will be useful for a while. You go down here to this button, Connections, right? You click that, and then you come down here to Cloud, and then you have this, basically, what you do here, this is what is confusing to a lot of people. This is like, well, what the crap does this mean? So, you have your Ankhbot business, but what you need to do way before you even get to your Ankhbot business is that you need to download a local Google Drive folder app thingy. Download Google Drive. You come here. You come here to download backup and resync. And you download this. Download this and install it. You, and down, you download this, you install it, you select where you want it installed, all that cool stuff, and you just do that. Do this. When you do that, you will get a folder like this. You will have your name hyphen Google Drive and your Google Drive will have all your drivey bits in it that you can't see because I've edited them out so you don't know what's in here. But the one thing that you do need to see is this thing. I have it named 00 hyphen onkbot files so it's always at the top. You can name it whatever you want but onkbot files. That's what you want. You want something that's a folder specific for your Ankhbot. What you want to do is back here in your Ankhbot, in your cloud service folder, you want to put pick wherever you want your Google Drive stuff. So mine is C user slash me slash Google Drive slash Ankhbot files. Pick that folder and then make sure that this is checked. Automatically back updated cloud folder. Make sure that's checked. And then you click um, create cloud backup and create Excel files. Then you save your settings. Your folder will look like this, but without as many files in it. You will have fewer of these than I do. But what you will definitely see, you'll have data, you'll have queue, you'll have song list, okay? Those are the things that are really, really important. Those are what you're looking for right now. What you want, what you want is you have songlist.xl.sx. You right click on this, go to Google Drive, share. When you do this, click get shareable link. It'll give you this link. This is your song list link. When you have that copied, go back here to your uh, commands and then check your, or create rather, a playlist, song list, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then you post that link here. As you can see here, this is this is my my song list link. That's that's basically all it is. Your song list is people opening up the song queue in their browser. Um, it will take a couple of minutes to sync. I think it syncs every two minutes or so, something like that. So don't expect it to be instantaneous. And as you can see in my command, it's just like make sure to wait a minute because it's not going to be right away. You're not going to see your song right away, but it will be there. So yeah, and occasionally, occasionally I've had syncing problems where Google has just been like, nope, and, and it just has decided not to use this link anymore. So I've had to go in and re-output the Excel files, recopy the um, the shareable link, and then paste it here and update it. I don't, ha I haven't had to do it recently since the latest update, but in previous updates, I have needed to do it. So that's been an issue. If that happens, if song list stops updating, that's all you have to do. You just have to refresh the files, but it's really easy to do. So you can do the same thing with your queue. The queue is the exact same thing where it's just an Excel file that is updated with um, whoever is adding or being added to the queue and um, then it'll just pop up in their browser so they can view it as uh, like a Google document and they can just see what the queue looks like. So it's the same thing for both things. That's how you set it up. I realize it's really convoluted. No one's ever done like a, a proper Ankhbot tutorial on it, at least not recently with the recent updates that um, include Google Drive support and cloud support. So 
that's how it's done. I figured it would be way easier to just show you guys than to try and tell you how it's done because telling you how it's done is a little bit complicated. So here you go. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please share it with your friends. Anyone who's using Ankbot can definitely use this information because <laughs> like I said, it's a little bit convoluted and it's not like Ankhart documentation helps. So. There you go. If you guys have any more questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments or you can DM me on Twitter or on Twitch. Um, I am at Tasty Chai on both things. So yeah, just hit me up there if you need it. Otherwise, for now, I hope this helps and I hope you guys are able to figure out what to do. So yeah, thanks guys. Take care, have a great night and I'll see you later.